Started handicapping in college and pro football full-time professionally back in 1996. This is my 29th football season as a professional handicapper. When I started back in the 90s, they wouldn't put odds up when there was uncertainty on a quarterback injury early in the week. Different world now. The odds makers post odds and they move real time. So we do have a line on this Colts-Packers game, even with the uncertainty of the Green Bay quarterback situation. Jordan Love is injured. I'm going to let you know how to play this game. There is a money-making opportunity. I'm going to give that to you free here, along with a quarterback stat update for the backup in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And this game has a lot of uncertainty. Colts and Packers at 1 o'clock Eastern on Sunday. Now, I'm doing this video on Wednesday afternoon earlier in the week here, and we do have odds on the board. The Wager Talk Live odds screen, you can see the Colts are currently a three-point road favorite. Total is 41. Both of those are very key numbers. Three of the most key points spread in the NFL. Favorites win by about 9 to 10% of the time by three. 41, one of the most key totals as well. Lots of margins get us there. 21, 20, 24, 17. For example, lots 31, 10. Lots of things get you on 41. You get the point. But what I want to point out is how much this line has moved because of the quarterback uncertainty with Green Bay. Jordan Love injured at the very end of that uh, international Brazil game last Friday night. Um, Malik Willis comes in. He only makes one pass attempt, 0 for 1 in the game. Let's dig a little bit deeper. It looks like Malik Willis, at least according to the betting markets right now, will be the starting quarterback on Sunday. And uh, his numbers have not been good. As a rookie with Tennessee, keep in mind he was a third-round draft pick out of Liberty University back in 2022 for the Titans. He had a miserable uh, season there in eight uh, games. Did not throw a touchdown. Three interceptions. Averaged just four and a half yards per pass attempt on 61 attempts back his rookie season with a very weak 43 quarterback rating. Last year in 2023, he only got into three games and only had five pass attempts. Really can't read much into that. His numbers were good, four for five, but not going to read into that. And then he's 0 for 1 this year with his new team, the Packers. Uh, if Willis goes, you got to figure they're going to keep the ball on the ground, take the pressure off of him, especially at home. Um, meanwhile, Indianapolis, not impressive in their debut. They got the half point cover against the Texans uh, late in that game. They were down 29 20, scored a touchdown um, with about two minutes to go. And they kicked the extra point instead of going for two. So they got it to within two. Otherwise, it could have landed on three. Uh, Colts, only 14 first downs in the game, including that late score. Um, only 100 rushing yards, 104 rushing yards. Um, I think they're going to also keep it on the ground. they got a very mobile quarterback in Anthony Richardson, who's just 9 for 19 passing against the Texans, despite trailing most of that game. They still didn't throw much. So with both teams running the football, I think the under 41 makes sense. Uh, to put this line perspective, this line move into perspective, there were advanced look-ahead lines this summer for all the NFL games, and the uh, Packers are projected to be about a four and a half to five-point home favorite in this game. The total was projected around 47. So this is a substantial move. The point spread's gone from minus five to plus three. Pretty extreme, especially for a Colts team that didn't look too good last week. And the total has dropped from 47 to 41. But I do think there's that much of a drop-off offensively for Green Bay without Jordan Love. And even if Jordan Love ends up playing, which I don't think will happen, betting markets don't feel that either. Um, he'll probably be pretty limited, another reason they'll look to keep it on the ground. And Green Bay does have a decent rushing attack. So I think the under 41 is the way you play this game, especially with Malik Willis under center. Hey, if you're finding these videos useful, thumbs up, like. You know, this one isn't going to be a best bet. It's a lot of uncertainty, but I wanted to give you a full breakdown here because this is a high-profile game with the quarterback situation. I wanted to give you some midweek injury info here on Wager Talk TV. Don't forget, my NFL Fade the Public video will be up this weekend here for Week 2. College Football Top 25 video on Thursday into Friday as well. So click subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts. And you also get daily free play baseball videos. And as I record this, we're on a current 27-6 and six best bet run in baseball over the past month. I know we're talking football. Everyone's looking at football. Don't sleep on baseball. I've been saying it for weeks now, and we continue to win. Incredible 27-6 and six best bet run with baseball over the past month for my clients at wagertalk.com. So yeah, not a bad time to maybe get an all-sports, all-access package. If you want the rest of baseball, by the way, use promo code MLB50. I've given that out only a couple videos this week. I'll give it to you here in case you missed one of those free play baseball videos. But if you'd like to get the rest of my incredible baseball Say fifty dollars instantly. I think that gets it down to like one fifty nine through the World Series. MLB five zero is the promo code for that. If you'd like to try a month of football, college and pro football combined, just six and a half dollars a day. No promo code needed. We have that one ninety nine month special on my page right now. 
But we also have the All Sports discount. I'm bringing it back this week. Many of you took advantage last week, and you have cashed big in baseball. Football, by the way, I'm number one in profit. ATS Profit Units won the last two years. College and Pro combined, number one at Wager Talk. Number one in baseball this season. Obviously, the 27-6 and six run is part of that. And also numerous number one rankings in basketball the last few years. Basketball starts in just over a month. So if you want a one-year investment approach, you can save big with an instant $800 discount by using promo code SM365. That works up to less than $3, about just about $3 a day, but less than a dollar and a half per play as I average two to three games on average throughout the season in all sports. And that gets you the next 365 days and nights of college and pro football, college and pro basketball, and baseball, which is on a current 27-6 and six winning run. Promo code SM365 gets it done. By the way, you don't have to memorize the promo codes. They're on my page right now. Go to my homepage, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. You'll see them there, along with daily free plays. Games that are just a bit outside for making the cut. I post those for free each and every day on my page. So check it out. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. You can follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And don't forget to comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. What are your thoughts on this Colts-Packers game? Are you staying away due to the injury uncertainty? What are your thoughts on Malik Willis? He didn't look very good his rookie season. Is he better now? And also, what other NFL plays do you like here in Week 2? Comment below. I read the comments. I reply back. Thumbs up, like the video, and stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great free betting content coming up next.